In this video, we're going to see a worked example of differentiation from first principles. Now this particular question is taken from the WJEC C1 January 2008 examination, but it's very, very similar to many, many other questions set by the WJEC and other exam boards in a C1 exam. The question is that given that y equals 3x squared minus 4x plus 7, we're asked to find dy dx from first principles. Now we kind of know that the answer is going to be 6x minus 4. We've got this from our existing knowledge of differentiation. We must remember what dy dx actually is. dy dx is the derivative of the function. We are asked to differentiate, but this time using first principles. Now remember that the derivative means the gradient of the tangent of the curve. We're going to end up with an algebraic expression, not just a numerical answer, because we're asked to find dy dx generally at any point on the curve. The formula that we will use, dy dx, is equal to the limit, as delta x tends to 0, of f of x plus delta x minus f of x, all divided by delta x. Now this is a formula that you should know. If you don't, it's big enough there for you to learn it. f of x is 3x squared minus 4x plus 7. Now originally we said y was equal to 3x squared minus 4x plus 7 but of course this is the same thing but this time we are using the function notation f of x. f of x plus delta x is simply obtained by substituting x plus delta x wherever we see the x in the original function. So 3x squared becomes 3x plus delta x all squared minus 4x becomes minus 4x plus delta x and the plus 7 is the same because it's independent of x. We have to expand our brackets and simplify and so we'll take some workings on the side so that we can look at the more complicated parts of this expression. x plus delta x squared means x plus delta x multiplied by x plus delta x. So multiplying the first with the first, the first with the second, second with the first and the second with the second, we get x squared plus x delta x plus another x plus x delta x plus delta x squared, simplifying to 2x delta x. And this will be the same in every case, so it's worth really studying that, noting it down x plus delta x squared is now going to be substituted in our original expression. 3x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared minus 4x plus delta x plus 7. Let's expand these brackets, multiplying the 3 out with the x squared with the 2x delta x to give 6x delta, delta x. 3 delta x squared. Be careful with the signs the minus 4x and the minus times the plus gives the minus 4 delta x. Now this cannot be simplified, so there's no need to try. But what will happen is when, when we substitute this into our expression for the definition of first principles differentiation, we will find lots of other things simplifying. So let's consider the gradient of the chord. That's that part of our definition and substitute the expressions that we've obtained. f of x plus delta x, 3x squared plus 6 delta x plus 3 delta x squared minus 4x minus 4 delta x plus 7. Now what will always happen is the second bracket will entirely cancel out with parts of the first bracket. Let's see what I mean. You see the 3x squared and the takeaway 3x squared, that's them cancelling there. Next the minus 4x and the minus minus 4x, that's plus 4x, they cancel. And the plus 7 
take away plus 7. They'll cancel as well. And this will always happen. And it leaves us with a simplified expression. And this simplified expression will always have a common factor of delta x. So we factorise and then cancel with the delta x on the denominator. Again, this will always happen. So we're left with the gradient of the code as being 6x plus 3 delta x minus 4. And now we're going to take the limit as delta x tends to 0 so that we have our definition of the derivative. dy dx is the limit as delta x tends to 0 of 6x plus 3 delta x minus 4. Now this will become so very, very tiny that it is so insignificant that it will not be... It'll be there, but in the limiting case, we'll only be left with the 6x and the minus 4. So what, what I always say is imagine that is 0, but never write it down as 0, because it's not 0, it's tending towards 0. So finally, we're left with the 6x, we're left with the minus 4, and because we've taken the limit, we can say that dy dx is equal to 6x minus 4. So let's conclude. Our original function, y, was equal to 3x squared minus 4x plus 7. And by the process of first principles differentiation, we have shown that dy dx is equal to 6x minus 4.